good morning students today we are going to begin with the second chapter of civics that is understanding secularism i hope you all have heard the term secularism earlier in this chapter we are going to understand the term in more detail what is secularism and why is it important in a democratic country let's understand this with the help of an example just suppose you are a hindu by religion and you are living in usa united states of america where christianity is the most powerful religion you wish to have a house on rent and uh, you visit various people looking for a vacant house but no one is agreeing to give you a house as you are a hindu how would you feel you will feel so discriminated you will feel discriminated against religion as you are not getting house because you are a hindu and not a christian just the same example uh, we take for saudi arabia where non muslims are not allowed to build temples and church and nor they can gather in public areas for prayers so or from all the above examples we can see that one religion that is in dominance is dominating the another religious community we can say it is discrimination on the basis of religion now as a human being do you wish to be discriminated on the basis of your religion do you think that you should be discriminated on the basis of your religion i hope no one would like to because our religion is our choice there is no difference between a hindu a muslim a christian or a islam but so no one wishes to be discriminated on the basis of their religion now what do you think in india can state discriminate against citizens on the basis of their religion let's find out is this in the chapter okay now let me ask you a question what is secularism how many of you can answer it not all of you so no worries we are going to find out the answer to this question in the next discussion in the previous chapter you all read about the various features of our indian constitution let's recall it what were they the number one was federalism which said that there should be more than one level of government in the country the second one was parliamentary form of government which said that people have the right to elect their own representatives the third one was separation of powers what did it said that all the powers should not be given in a single hand and it should be divided amongst various organs of the government and in india we have three such organs legislature executive and judiciary the fourth one was fundamental rights our constitution provide us with various rights to protect the people against the arbitrary exercise of power and the last one was secularism what was it the separation of religion from the state the indian constitution allows individuals the freedom to live by their religious beliefs and practices as they interpret these and keeping this this idea of religious freedom for all india also adopted the strategy of separating the power of religion and power of state the state does not officially promote any single religion So I hope from the above discussion we can conclude the answer to our question what was the question what is secularism so let's find out the answer to this the answer is the term okay let's find out who coined the term secularism first the term secularism was coined by british writer george jacob holyac in 1851 what does it means a secularism means the state does not promote any particular religion and we as the citizen of the country has the right to follow the religion of our state so we can say that india is a secular state because it does not officially promote any religion as the state religion